What's up guys, we're here at Flow Grappling Headquarters for another breakdown video. This one is gonna be Mikey Musumichi versus Richard Alicorn. And this is back from October during the Gordon Ryan versus Philip Rowe, uh, who's number one. So that, that was an awesome event. For the Daisy Fresh season three, in episode two, there's a lot, a lot of background in this stuff, so that's a good one. It's like kind of, kind of Mikey's uh, special episode, and you can learn a lot about Mikey's like personal life and this move specifically. Mikey Musumichi returns to who's number one, and I don't think it is unfair to say that the pressure is on. He has a lot to prove, and he has been back hard in the lab working to unveil a new mystery submission. And uh, Richard, so a lot of people that don't know Richard, man, Richard is a tough dude. This guy wrestled for Citadel. It's the military division one school in South Carolina. He had huge wins, man. He's, he beat uh, Tyra Tulo. He's a really, really tough guy. Like uh, when I think of tough guys, I think of guys like Richard Alicorn. So uh, Mikey had been working on this, um, the Mikey lock. Now there was a lot of debate about this thing. There were Sambo guys and Bass Rutten and a few Jiu Jitsu guys that say, this uh, isn't anything new that Mikey's invented at all, but uh, it, it, it is different, man. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those things, it's like, um, all of those moves are similar. Jiu-Jitsu is constantly evolving, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, d is anybody really making up anything? You know, we give it a name and whoever's able to do it in a competition, you know, sometimes that's the way it seems, but Mikey is a phenom, you know what I, you know what I mean? This guy spends countless, countless hours working on this stuff and not just uh, working on it, but mastering it. So knowing something and being able to teach something and then actually being able to do something, those are all very, very different. So Mikey's actually able to do this. He had a match recently where, I don't know, I think he, he broke the guy's leg like several times. I mean, it, it was a mess, but uh, anyway, Richard Alicorn, this was the debut. We had worked on this thing for, for, for months going into this. So much went into it mentally. And uh, Richard is a really, really tough guy. Like I said, he's, He's, he's got huge wins there. You, you, you can see they're showing some of his dubs. Uh, and he had beat some really, really tough guys. He had MMA experience, and you can't ever count anyone who's wrestled in the Division I college, right? You know what I mean? And so we were really, really curious to see if he could pull this lock off. What this thing is, it's kind of like, it's, it's a heel hook, okay? And uh, that, that's how I'm, I'm stumped up on it. That's how complicated it is. It's like a heel hook, but instead of the grip with your hands, you're actually using your neck. And like I said, in, in episode two, he talks about this on, on the Daisy Fresh. Like you, you can see, it's almost an instructional. He talks about it so much and you can see what he's doing and he's showing everybody when this thing gets on. And Mikey has a really, really weird body type. So when he gets in on something, he's so flexible and so sticky and so strong that he is able to, you know, finish this stuff and make it happen. Um, anyone who's ever trained with him or rolled with him knows that he is extremely sticky and very, very high percentage in finishes. So Richard was a huge, huge test to see if we could make this happen and debut the move. So, um, all right. <clears throat> so the guys getting ready to walk out, like I said, uh, Jacob Couch was actually on this show uh, as well. He went against Hunter Colvin. So this was, the, this was really the first uh, tournament where uh, Mikey had done a training camp with us and we were able to really, really work on a lot of mental and physical stuff. So. Uh, as much mental goes into these matches as physical, you know, a, a lot of people are, they're so, they're so into winning and, and um, you know, they, 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 they forget how much other things go into this. So anyway, Mikey getting called out here, huge fan favorite. Everybody loves this guy. How couldn't you love him? He's the full package. When you look at him, he is proof that uh, anyone who's willing to put the time in can do anything. He's a, not the most athletic person in the world, but you put in the time, you can make things happen, right? So Mikey's kind of interesting too. Uh, you know, before the matches, he's extremely nervous, like the most nervous that a human can be. Um, he gets extremely stressed out. So it's always fun to watch uh, that and check that out. You know, and, and see, sometimes we forget that uh, these athletes are, you know, humans too. So it's kind of cool to like, to see, you know, like what everybody who's watching this, when you guys are competing in your local tournaments or doing whatever you do, you know, these guys have the same feelings as you. So it's always kind of cool to be able to relate to that. And like I said, Mikey's a really, really relatable guy. So, uh, uh, you know, Richard, I don't know as much, you know, Richard's a pretty tough guy. So it's, uh, but anyway, he's coming out here, always looks like a killer. He's had a bunch of MMA fights too, I think. Yeah, we were ready to get in and get started. In the corner, um, you know, Mikey, I just had to keep telling him, hey, if we can get the Mikey lock, that is amazing. But if we can't, let's try to get on the back and do the thing that we do. All right, so the guys are, uh, they're, 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 they're touching, touching hands here. Here's the breakdown, Richard's 30 years old, Mikey's 25, they're about the same height. 
and 135 pounds. Uh, Mikey walks around at about that. Mikey was uh, the number one looking for the championship here. So, uh, you know, 15 minute match. So Fight. here it goes. The guys, Mikey sits immediately. Obviously he wants to be down on bottom. You know, Richard was going to get the takedown anyway. Let's keep it real. So uh, Richard was doing some outside passing. As a corner, when we went into this, what the plan was, we felt like Richard would kind of do the in and out, touch and go, touch and go. But once he committed, Mikey would be able to suck him into the position that we wanted to get him into, which was coming underneath and getting the top person's hips over yours so you can start to attack the leg, okay? So right here, uh, Richard's kind of touch and going, using a lateral outside passing. Uh, uh, you can tell, you know, he's wrestled as a good, good stance. And... Um, we're just kind of waiting for him to come in and step into the green zone. And there it is. Mikey was able to suck him into the closed guard. Okay, I'm going to stop this here at 14-16, okay? So as soon as he came into the closed guard, Mikey is able to invert and start to come underneath him, okay? So I'm going to go just a little bit here. Okay, I'm stopping it at one second later. If you look, Mikey's right leg, okay, it's almost like a reaping position from the back, okay? So it's anyone who's not extremely... Um, uh, familiar with these situations to try, to try to break it down the simplest way possible, okay? So you can see Richard is facing away, okay? Mikey's right leg is coming over the top of the hamstring, okay? It's like a reap, like an outside ankle lock position here, okay? And if you look already, instead of trying to hook the heel, what Mikey's trying to do is pull the position into his neck because you're actually doing this position with the neck and not a regular heel hook grip, okay? So <clears throat> we'll get it going a little bit here. Okay, uh, Okay. we'll stop here one more time at 14.10. Okay, so this is the closest position to like a knee bar, okay? So that means that Mikey's, li like an arm bar, Mikey's right knee and left knee are, okay, isolating the leg, and Mikey is coming in. If you just look at his, his, uh, his head here, his right ear is coming to the outside of the heel, okay? So he can hook this and he can pin this against the neck, okay? So we'll get it started. Okay, and look at him, he's using, keeps it against the neck, against the neck, it's not a heel hook grip, and then he gets the tap. Guys, this thing is so tight, and there's so much pressure on it that if you don't tap, it will 100% break your foot. It is nasty, 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 the Mikey lock. So uh, <clears throat> he was able to get in that position really, really quick, and like I said, against a guy like Richard Alcorn, a match in under uh, one minute to win a title, Mikey is, uh, he, he's the GOAT though, man, the guy's the... You know, he's as good as he gets it this way, and I don't know if he can be touched. But uh, that was pretty much the breakdown. Like I said, if you guys want a really, really good, good detailed version of that lock, I think that Mikey's made a couple uh, DVDs on it. You can check that out also on the Daisy Fresh Season 3. Like we said, Episode 2, Mikey's the man. This is him winning the title. So uh, it was a quick match, but that's the breakdown. If you can take anything away from this, just remember, a guy like Mikey Musumichi is a normal guy, just willing to bust his ass and work hard. You got Michael Sears there coming in to give the belt. Uh, anyway, anybody can do that, man. If Mikey Musumichi can do this, anyone can do it. Put in the time. You know, you got to be uh, mentally, you got to train smart as well as hard, and that's what Mikey does. I appreciate you guys having me out. Check it out. Like I said, one more plug Daisy Fresh Season 3. Get on that. Thanks for having me in for the breakdown, flow grappling. Peace.